What's up, YouTube? This is Bison the X79 guys, and coming to you with my latest deck profile video. All right, and as you can see, we're gonna be doing my updated Blue Eyes White Dragon deck. This particular build is geared specifically for the post revision format. I know it's kind of might seem a little early, but from the day this video is posted. We only have 12 days before the revision takes effect. Um, and to be very honest, getting ready for that revision, definitely very use, huge, especially when it comes down to Blue Eyes, because we're going back to the situation before the Link Era, where Blue Eyes decks can basically spam out uh, Rank 8s um, and Synchro Monsters uh, with impunity, and basically build these insane boards that can just cause your opponent so much havoc. All right? And I can tell you this right now, this particular build has gotten some serious juice with a lot of the sets released between um, the start of Link era and the revision, beginning of the revision era. And I can tell you how happy this just makes me feel, just having this deck, being able to play it um, like it used to. It's just such an amazing high. So without further ado, we're going to get right into this. All right. Start off, of course, every good blue eyes deck um, has three blue eyes white dragons in it. Um, it's pretty much an unwritten rule in this game. If you're running a blue eyes deck, three blue eyes. All right. Level eight light attribute dragon type monster, three thousand attack, twenty five hundred defense. Um, nasty beat stick can help you go into your rank eight plays, your link plays, your synchro plays, your fusion plays. Yeah. I mean, with the amount of support blue eyes have gotten over the course of the years. Um, it's just amazing to see Blue Eyes get its due. So, definitely three copies of him. Okay. Two copies of Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. Alternative is a free body on the board. All you gotta do is reveal the OG Blue Eyes from your hand. Special summon this guy out. He does have the ability, um, to target one of your opponent's monsters once per turn and just destroy it. Of course, you can't attack with this card, but since it does have the same attribute level... Um, and stat line as the OG Blue Eyes, you can do the, all the same things as with the OG Blue Eyes. Um, so definitely worth having two of them in the deck. Um, the only reason why I'm running two of him and one copy of Dragon Spirit of the White is primarily because of the other level ace I have in this deck that can help augment it, um, spot field removal. All right, Dragon Spirit of the White, whenever it's summoned, you can target one of your opponents, spell some traps, banish it. All right. It counts as a normal type monster while in the graveyard or in the hands. It's always treated as a blue ice monster, um, whether it be on the field, hand, graveyard, or deck. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and if your opponent happens to have a, another monster on the field, you can tribute this guy off special summon out of blue ice monster from your hand to the field. This is especially helpful during a battle phase, so you can get that additional bit of damage. All right. I am <clears throat> running the Arc Brave Dragon, Sweet Arc Brave Dragon, and Morphage Goliath. Basically, get both these cards in the graveyard during the same turn and during your opponent's standby phase. Activate Arc Brave's effect, special summon out Goliath, and basically it locks out both players from special summoning any monsters except for Morphage monsters. Um, this really puts a major kink in your opponent's plans because without being able to special summon, they can't really build boards. Um, and that puts them more at your mercy. All right. And let's not forget about Orc Phrase Dragon's other effect. Um, it does come in extremely handy, especially against back row heavy decks like Altergeist, Guru Control, or even True Drago. Um, whenever this card is special from the graveyard, you basically can banish um, all the spells and traps your opponent controls off the field. And this card gains 200 attack and defense for each card banished by its effect. Um, so you can actually make this card pretty beefy, um, pretty quick. And just be able to clear your opponent's back row to be able to do, th go into your battle phase and score big damage. All right, definitely something the deck needs and has to have. All right, two copies of the Sage with Eyes of Blue. Normal summon out Sage. Search your deck for another level one might attribute tuner, um, which is pretty good. We have five other monsters that fit that bill. Um, so we'll be doing some fair amount of searching. Um, don't forget about its hand trap esque effect, where you can actually basically discard this card from your hand, target an effect monster, a face up effect monster you control, send that effect monster to the graveyard, special summon a blue eyes monster from your deck to the field. Um, very handy, especially when doing 
your battle phase and you want to get that a bit of additional damage in. Alright. Two copies of White Stone of Ancient and one copy of White Stone of Legend. Legend sent in the graveyard. Um, by any means, you're searching your deck for the OG Blue Eyes. Um, White Stone of Ancients. During the end phase of the, of the turn, this card is sent to the graveyard. You're special summoning a Blue Eyes monster from your deck to the field, so you get that additional body. Um, while this card's in the graveyard, you can banish it and return a Blue Eyes monster from your graveyard back to your hand. So it helps you set up your additional plays. Um, great toolbox cards to have overall in a Blue Eyes deck. And the last light tuner monster we're having in this deck is going to be two copies of Effect Valor. Effect Valor, unlike some other hand traps, isn't a hard once per turn, so if you have both cards in your hand, you can actually activate both cards during your opponent's turn. Um, don't forget, it's also a level one light attribute uh, tuner monster, so you can utilize it for your synchro summons. Alright? That's it for the typical blue eye stuff. Moving forward for the stuff that helps augment um, the deck and get into those rank 8 plays um, that it used to be able to pump out before the link error, I'm running Dangerous. Alright? Now, Dangerous really helps this deck out a lot, primarily because of its hunt effect. Um, basically, what happens is that you reveal a Danger monster from your hand, you shuffle your hand, and then your opponent randomly selects one of the cards from your hand. If it's, the, if it's a Danger Monster, it's discarded to the Graveyard, and you get its discard effect, but if not, the Danger Monster is special summoned to the field, you draw a card um, to help keep your hand advantage. I can tell you this right now, it does really work out. Free bodies on the board, and additional draws, or you get field control off of it, which is even better, um, because Danger Bigfoot, whenever it's discarded to the Graveyard, allows you to target one of your opponent's face-up cards and destroy it. It doesn't matter if it's a monster spell or trap, you're going to be able to remove it from the field. Alright, and of course, the other level 8 danger is one of the three copies of Danger Thunderbird. Alright, discard this card to the graveyard, you're targeting any of your any of the set cards your opponent controls with this card to destroy. Um, also, please note, it's, it is a winged beast monster, so it does play into one of the link monsters that I have in this deck, um, which is actually pretty damn cool, giving you an additional out to get it onto the field. All right. One copy of Card Destruction. Dangers love being discarded. A lot of the cards in this um, deck, um, specifically the monsters, love being sent to the graveyard. So it's a natural fit. Um, helps disrupt your opponent, um, forcing them to basically utilize or go through resources before they can actually reutilize them properly. Um, so it does mess up their plans. Great card overall. Of course, we're going to have Terraforming and three copies of Dragon's Ravine. Um, Ravine is just awesome in this deck. Discard any card from your hand, and you're sending a Dragon-type monster from your deck to the graveyard. So you can literally set up your graveyard for any number of plays moving forward. All right, Terraforming allows you to see this card one more time. So it's almost like we're having four copies. All right. And to help load your graveyard even faster, we have three copies of Dragon Shrine. Dragon Shrine is essentially the Foolish Burial for Dragon-type decks. Um, normally, it just sends any Dragon-type monster from the deck to the graveyard, but if you send a Normal-type monster from the deck to the graveyard, you get to send an additional Dragon-type monster as well. So, yes, definitely something that helps build the graveyard and your plays. Monster Reborn. Bring back any monster you need from either player's graveyard. One for one, discard a monster, special summon a level one monster. Very awesome. All right. Three copies of the Return of the Dragon Lords. Um, staple in any dragon deck um, that specializes in level seven or level eight dragons. Allows you to special summon them back from the graveyard onto the field. And if this card's in your graveyard, you, can, you banish it and basically protect all your dragon type monsters from being destroyed by battle or card effect, which is just awesome. All right. And of course, last but not least, with all those level 8s in the deck, three copies of trade in. This card does so much work in this deck, it's not even funny. Um, so worth it. Discard a level 8, specifically the dangers, draw two cards, pop a card off your opponent's field. All good things to help control the situation. And last but not least, I'm actually running three copies of back to the front. Um, I just wanted to be able to bring back pretty much any monster that was in my graveyard back onto the field so I can be able to utilize it in other plays, um, whether it be 
synchro, exceeds, links, or just to be able to bring my own monster to absorb an attack from, from an opponent. So it does help out in that regards, and just being able to utilize this card during your opponent's turn helps out so much. All right, that's it for the main deck, 40 cards. On to the extra deck. Of course, start off with Blue Eyes, Twin Burst Dragon. Twin Burst Dragon, this requires two Blue Eyes monsters on the field, whether it be the o two OG Blue Eyes, two alternatives, which count as a Blue Eyes Red Dragon uh, on the field, or com any combination of both. Um, just the two of them send them both to the graveyard. Don't think polymerization. And then this guy comes out. It has the same stat lines as the OG Blue and Blue Eyes, as well as the alternative, 3,000 attack, 2,500 defense. But... Has some pretty cool effects. Can't be destroyed by battle. Can attack twice during a battle phase. Awesome. And then any monsters that aren't, uh, that are still on the field, after it attacks them, gets banished. Yeah. So you get to clear out some pretty problematic monsters and make use of your blue eyes in another way. All right. So on to the synchros. We have one copy of Zorai's Silver Dragon. Um, whenever a Silver Dragon is Special Summon, it basically prevents any of your Dragon Monsters from being destroyed by card effects, including your own card effects, which is actually pretty awesome. Um, during the standby phase, you can Special Summon a normal type Dragon Monster from your graveyard back to the field, um, which is also very good, um, especially if you want to keep abusing Dragon Spirit of Light. All right. We're also running one copy of Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. Our uh, Spirit Dragon is just such an amazing card. All right, prevents your opponent from special summoning two or more monsters at the same time, so it shuts down pendulum summons. Um, while this card is face up on the field, um, any of your opponent's uh, monsters' effects that activate in the graveyard, all right, the activated effects specifically, they're negated. So yeah, it can stop a, a lot of different decks. Um, just be by being on the field, but the best effect that I and one that I love using the most is basically the one where you tribute off and you're able to bring out another light attribute dragon synchro monster onto the field. You can bring out Azure Eyes, or you can also bring out Stardust Spark Dragon, okay, or Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. All right, Stardust Bar Dragon has an effect that can protect itself or another card on the field from being destroyed by battle or card effect, um, which comes in handy because Blue Eye Spirit Dragon does have um, an effect that destroys any monster special summoned by its own effect. Um, whenever Moonlight, whenever Black Rose Moonlight Dragon is special summoned, or a level five or higher monster is special summoned to the field. You can target that monster and just basically bounce it back to your opponent's hand, which is actually pretty damn awesome. Um, typically, especially summon this card out, especially if you haven't used your normal summon, bring out a level 1 tuner, and you can actually turn around and build into the level 8 Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, which is just an amazing card in this deck. Same stat line as the Blue Eyes, um, which is kind of like why I love this card a little bit. Um, can negate any monster effects. And if it battles a level 5 or higher monster, it basically adds that monster's attack to his own. Um, so you're basically getting a free 3,000 points of damage onto your opponent, which is just huge. Alright. Last synchro in this deck is another level 9, and that's basically Cloud Castle. Um, the primary reason why you want Cloud Castle... Um, in the extra deck is basically because when you summon it, you get the special summon in a little level 9 monster from your graveyard, specifically Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, or you can go for Azure Eyes if it's in there as well. Um, but typically it's going to be um, more or less um, Blue Eyes Spirit. Um, and what you do is then, after that, you can just overlay them to go into True King of All Calamities, and All Calamities is just a sick card, primarily because um, detach material from this card, declare one attribute, all monsters on the field become that attribute, and then monsters with that, that your opponent controls with that attribute cannot activate their effects or attack during a turn, which basically buys you a turn to really get things going. Um, it's a great stun card. Um, it's almost kind of like Mystic Mind on Legs, so, yeah. All right, for the rank eight spams, Ooh. boom, number 97, the Draglubian, 
All right. Oh, drag blue, drag will be in. It's just an amazing card. Any two level eight monsters can make it. Detach um, one material from this card, and basically you pick any two other number dragon monsters in your in your extra deck, and then basically you summon one with the other attached to it. All right. So typically, what I have in this particular situation is I have. Number 46, Dragulon, um, which I basically utilize um, as the material, and I either attach it to number 38, the whole Harbinger, Dragon Titanic Galaxy. Um, it can negate spell cards and add spell cards to itself as materials, and then you can attach materials to force your opponent to attack it. Um, the other rank 8 that, or actually the other monster that I attach to it is basically number 100, Numeron Dragon, and this is where things get a little crazy, all right? Numeron Dragon has this nasty little effect where if you detach the material that's attached to it, it basically gains attack of all the ranks of the Xyz monsters on the field, plus its own, and then you basically take those ranks and you multiply it by a thousand and that becomes its attack. Just having number 97 and number 100 on the field at one time gives it 9,000 attack, all right? Yeah. So you could pretty much OTK with this single card, all right? Cool thing about it is this card does actually allow itself to bring itself back from the graveyard um, just to absorb attacks um, in case one of your other monsters are destroyed, which is also pretty awesome. Pr you're pretty much not going to use that effect, all right? Level rank 8 monster, or something that's pretty much staple in any rank 8 deck. It's going to be Dengirsu. Um, it just offers um, an amazing amount of protection for the deck um just being able to dis detach a material to prevent destruction of another card all right and when this exceeds summon you can just target more of your opponent's monsters on the field and send it to the graveyard clearing out problematic monsters um and keeping that field control all right that's it for the exceeds monsters i do have two links this deck extra deck does a little bit of everything here um link karibo um pretty standard in this deck since we do run so many level ones um, great monster to have on the field. Tribute it to basically bottom out one of your opponent's monster's attacks. Um, and you can bring it back by tributing off a level 1 monster that's on the field. And then last but not least is that we have Dragoonity Knight Romulus. I mean, this is where, um, having the Burden deck is actually really useful because normally you would need two Dragon-type monsters to be on the field to get them out, but now you can utilize a Dragon-type monster and a Wing Beast monster to get them out as well. And whenever this guy is Link Summoned, you actually get to search your deck for a Terraforming, um, to, I mean, not to Terraforming, for a Dragon Ravine to add to your hand, which is just awesome. Um, so it's like a fifth... A fifth copy of Dragon Ravine, um, when you really think about it. Um, such a useful card. Um, does have two downward effect facing arrows, um, so it does come into play a little bit um, during the current format. Alright guys, that is it for my updated Blue Eyes White Dragon deck for the Master Rule Revision, guys. I really do hope you enjoy this deck profile. I know I can't wait to start mixing it up um, post Master Rule Revision with this deck. It's going to be so much fun just being able to drop so many monsters. And now that we have Number Run Dragon in the deck, just being able to blow out your opponent with a massive attack. Just incredible. All right, guys. As always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this on my channel, make sure to subscribe, enable the notifications so you don't miss a single upload. Check out the description box below. Find the in invite link to my Discord server. Join a conversation. We would love to have you. Follow me on social media, Twitter, and Reddit. Um, and if you want to help the channel out, guys, please use my TCG Player affiliate link in the description box and good health as well. All right. As always, guys, until next time, peace.